Today's topic is the GSI Audera Pro Loopback Test. The Loopback Test is a way to evaluate the integrity of the Audera Pro hardware. And by hardware, I mean the Audera Pro box that you see here. The loopback test is used for troubleshooting purposes, so only when you suspect there may be a problem with your equipment. The test, to perform the test, you need the loop test cable that comes with every Audera Pro device and a special automated test protocol. You're going to perform the loopback test anytime you're getting inconsistent test results for ABR or the ASSR test types. Maybe the results are inconsistent between channels. Maybe you get test data looks pretty good in channel A, but you have issues in channel B. Potentially, there are excessively noisy recordings, maybe cyclical noise throughout the recordings. Anytime you feel that um, the results are um, not ideal. To perform the test, you need the loopback cable that you see here. This is included with your system. And you're going to unplug the insert earphones from the back of the Audera Pro and plug in the loopback test cable, blue to blue and red to red, and make sure that it's firmly inserted into the device. Then you're gonna unplug your patient cable and plug in the other end of the loopback test into that same port. Once you've done that, then you're ready to run the test. So normally I would recommend creating a patient name for troubleshooting purposes, test patient, system test, something like that, and then opening up the Adara ASSR ABR module. And I'm gonna play the video that'll show you how the test is going to complete. You're gonna to go to protocol, execute automated, select loopback, and open, and the test is going to automatically begin. Here you can see a recording has started at 90 dB in channel A. You see a nice smooth sine wave. This is exactly what you should see. And the protocol will run through 90 to 50 dB and 10 dB steps. So you'll see a numerous waveforms here. You can see them. And then you're gonna repeat that in the other ear. So you're gonna to switch to left ear, go up to protocol, execute automated, select loopback, open, and complete the test for the other side. So here you can see a nice smooth sine wave starting at 90 dB. It looks exactly the same as it does in the other channel. And you're gonna compare 80, all the other intensity levels and make sure they look nice and smooth. Once the protocol is complete, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and you want to look at the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude column. So here I've zoomed in. Here you can see highlighted in yellow is the peak-to-peak -peak column. And in the back of the Audera Pro user manual is a table. And this table will are the ranges for normal or acceptable when you run the loopback test. So if we look at number one, waveform number one, left ear at 90, the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude is 100.49 microvolts, and we're gonna look up at our table and we can see anywhere from 90 to 110 microvolts is acceptable. So that level passes. Then we're gonna look at 80 dB. The peak-to-peak -peak amplitude is 31.35. We're gonna compare that to the acceptable range in the table, which is 27 to 33 microvolts. So that one's acceptable acceptable, et cetera. So you're gonna look at each intensity level and compare the peak to peak to the table and make sure the results fall within the ranges. And if they do, then the Audera Pro hardware will pass the loopback test, so everything is good. So if that happens, um, then you might have to look to other things for uh, the source of the problem. So let's review uh, running through a test. You're gonna connect the loopback test cable to the Audera Pro launch the software, enter a patient name if you want, this is optional, uh, launch the ABR module and go to protocol, execute automated protocol, select loopback, let the test complete in channel A, then you're gonna switch to the left ear or channel B and repeat that, go to protocol, execute automated, um, loop back, complete that in the other ear, and then compare the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude from the test results to the table that's in the user manual. 
Again, if everything is normal, then you want to look for other sources of inconsistent test results.